Every input channel and output bus has a compressor section. We're going to explore this section in detail in this video. First, we're going to look at the sidechain function. You can source the sidechain from any input or output bus on the console. You can shape the frequencies that trigger the compressor using the two-band sidechain filter. The high and low bands can be set independently to shelf or pass, or both bands can be swapped out for a single notch filter. Just like DLive, Avantis allows you to use parallel compression in the channel strip with adjustable dry and wet path control, but without having to use an extra bus or input, all whilst maintaining phase coherency. The histogram shows gain reduction over time in red if the compressor is in, or grey if the compressor is out. The compressor can be controlled by touching and selecting the relevant parameter on the screen and using the main screen encoder or by assigning parameters to the fast grab tab or by using the gate comp mode on the channel encoders. We'll go through how you set these up in another video. By default, every compressor section has the Allen & Heath manual RMS compressor assigned. By pressing the library button, you can choose to use our manual peak compressor or two different ducker modes. If you have the D-Pack upgrade on your console, you can also choose from a number of hardware emulation of classic compressors. You can see more about the different models in our D-Pack video. The great thing about D-Pack compressors is that unlike external plugins or even hardware compressors, there's no additional latency or issues with phase coherency. Furthermore, there's no limit to the number of deep compressors you can use at once, with enough processing on the FPGA to have a deep compressor on every input and output bus running at the same time. 